as this is following on from you asking about copying and pasting things between objects um, so this is going to be on the fly so it should be interesting so right what I do is uh, I'm going to start an animation and I'm going to take this object I'm just going to move it actually let's turn on screencast keys right. now move that back on the x-axis we're going to start with that and I'll have that as 120 and I'm going to set a keyframe there for location and rotation because that's all I'm going to be playing with here but right so that's that in fact I'm going to then move that along to frame 30 I'm going to G on the X to here I'm going to RR to just wiggle it a bit and apply a location and rotation. Again, I'll move along to 60, G on the X, RR, we'll do a little bit more, and location rotation. So, there's my animation for that cube. Okie dokie, now we want to copy that to this cube, and all you do is Select all of those in there to control C. Go to the beginning, select that cube, control V. No selected F curves to paste into. And that's what you'll always get. And all that means is at the moment this literally doesn't have any animation curves to play with. So if we look at that and say if we turn this view into the graph editor select everything and zoom in on that let's uh, pull that in so we can see a bit more of it drag that across there so it's a bit smaller so you can see these are the animations for the channels x y and z x y and z so but if i select that it doesn't have any animation so all you need to do it doesn't matter where it is you can just do I and simple insert location will suffice and now if I go into here and I control V that now perfectly mirrors the other animation so if I play that now just play button they both do the same thing but it's only doing the location so it's literally just copied the location so if I select cube 1 and I insert location rotation and I'm going to deselect them, select them, delete them and then I'm going to go control V now when I play it, instead of just the location, it's also got the rotation. But it's not following it, obviously, because it's duplicating it. So all you do to follow it is with all of those move, just G, X, drag that along. And you say drag that to about there. Go back to the beginning. Now at the moment, there's still starting from the same position and the reason for that is because the first keyframe is the same for all of them so we're going to select that and I'm just going to GX minus 6 to move it back 6 frames and this time I am going to go to the beginning with that cube selected, cube 1 I'm just going to GX push it back a bit. Don't worry about it appearing to move both at the moment. This is this a glitch. I notice that. And now, if I set location, rotation, and scale, but now I hit return, you see it's separated. 
And likewise now if I go to frame 90 and they're both together and I select the first cube GX move it on a bit insert location rotation and if I zoom that out a bit and we play so actually I'm going to just go to frame 90 and I'm just going to move that up a bit further to there and look, replace the keyframes And if I basically want to change the the flow of that, all I do is I can select that one, do a B to select those keyframes, and I can just G X take them back, say fifth, so it starts fifteen frames later. And now, having done that. I'm going to have to, to make things tidy. I mean, I know this is just an example, but I do that. I select that frame again, and I'm actually going to just Alt A to deselect everything. Just click on that to select that. And I'm going to click and drag that back to 85. Let's see how that looks. Actually, I'm going to drag it back even further. 75. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that stops it from intersecting. So that's how you get something to follow itself, follow something else. And you can do the similar sort of thing in the actual graph editor itself, but you're really better using the dope sheet uh, because that allows you then to move things much easier than selecting. I mean, you can do it in here, yes, sure, you can be select those, GX, and you can move them. But it just makes more sense to move these. And if you want to isolate channels, say you just want to change that rotation, like that, you can just GX on that. And now you've got two keyframes, one for the X, one for the X rotation, and one for the remainder. So if I turn those all back on, I deselect everything and select that, I'm now just changing that one. And I could do the same there. I could select, say, the Y rotation double click to select it all or just click that one to select that GX now I've separated X Y and Z so I move that moves the Y rotation differently moves the X rotation differently so now these now no longer actually follow each other they're doing something slightly different both end up in the same rotation eventually but you can, and that's before you even start playing with your, your handles and changing the uh, select one, do V, and changing the type to say vector or align or free. So, and you can get some really odd things going on. V, just set it back to automatic. Now you can just drag it around. Scale that out, scale it, so you can uh, alter the curves that way. So you can just play to your heart's content. And then when you want to change the timing, you can just drag these along. And you, what you can also do is copy and paste. So if we play this, I can then effectively make it go backwards. I get into here, selecting that keyframe, Control C, clicking there, and Control V, and that will mess with things now. That's just the rotation, but let's do it on the X location. So we select that, 
and we've got our X location there. I'm going to control C that. I'm going to go to her. I'm going to control V it. Oh. Control V there. And w watch what happens to the second cube now. So. Or you can pan it out so that now becomes a, almost a pause. So it goes off, stops, and carries on. And you can do the same there, control C, go control V. And then you can change the length of that pause, make it short. Make that short, so you play that. And then say you want it to go back after that. That's easy. You can just again select that frame, go up to the paste it. So so that's just a quick video on uh, copying keyframes, basically, and playing about with the graph editor a little.